commandments for? What are these commandments for? What havoc did Satan wreak in heaven that God would make ten commandments to govern the ceaseless generations of God? Who is Lucifer? And what is his power? And why is God willing to give us his glory instead of giving it to creatures that he had created long before we were ever born? The angels ask God a question. They say, what is man that you are mindful of him? And the son of man that you visited him? They want to know why God comes down when we call him. And they want to know why he goes back up when we're through with him. And they want to know why God looks the other way when we're messing up. And forgives us when we finish with messing up. They don't understand those kind of things. You know, because Satan can't get forgiven for anything he did. I don't care what Carlton Pearson said. There is no rule on inclusionism. The truth of the matter is it's holiness or hell. Y'all don't want me to preach it here. It ain't nothing but the truth. And, and, and so that's the thing that you have to understand. Uh -oh. Who is this creature that is called Lucifer? Well, the Bible tells us exactly who he is. He's first mentioned in Ezekiel 28, chapter number 13, on down to round about 18. It says, Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God, and every precious stone was thy covering. The sardius, the topaz, the emerald, the diamond, the carbuncle, the gold, the silver, lead, any precious stone that exists in the earth was Lucifer's covering. So when covered with flesh and blood and sinews, he was covered with glass, ruby, and diamonds and pearls and diamonds and, and platinum. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. So that when God looked at Lucifer, God could never see the face of Lucifer because Lucifer cast the reflection of God. And when God looks out of heaven, he doesn't want to see you. He wants to see his self in you. And anytime God doesn't see his self in you, it's because you have a problem with him. Lucifer had a dual job. His first job was to stand on the throne and minister to God. He had talent which is tambourines and he had pipes which is rhythm so he had rhythm and beat someone said that Lucifer was the head of the choir in heaven that's not true Lucifer was the choir in fact glory be to God the Bible declares that out of the three people who were caught up into the heavens all of them heard as if it was trumpets talking to them so the language of heaven is symphonics the language of heaven is a symphony of musical sound that's why God tears up the place when you sing certain songs. That's why demons are calm when you sing certain songs. Even nature teaches us that music calms the savage beast. Y'all, they have their medical studies that proves unto us that if your head is hurting, there are certain types of music that you can play that your, 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 your nerves will pick up on and calm down because music is the universal language of God. And when John was caught up into the heavens, he heard music. He heard, the book, the book, the God was speaking the sound of trumpet. And that's when God gets ready to do something big in your life. He never gives you a testimony or a sermon. He gives you a song. Oh, I wish I had a church. Look at your neighbor and say, I got a song. I can't sing, but I got a song. I can't sing, but I got a song. I 